The moment we got on the next leg of the train ride to Mongolia, we met Sammy and Mera, a Finnish couple with a great sense of humor and nearly too much fun. We also met a group of American skateboarders, giving each other tattoos and taking shoots for a magazine as they crossed Mongolia. As the, was standard on the Russian trains, there was more fish, more beer and more vodka. As we got closer to Mongolia, the scenery was beautiful and there was about an hour of no man's land where I was concerned I was going to get denied entry into the country because I'm Irish, but my Mongolian visa said I was from the UK. In Ulaanbaatar, we checked out Genghis Khan, became millionaires for a hot second, realised they sold breast milk in the supermarkets. And as was the way with Genghis, we chatted to some girls at the local bar. The first one replied with an Irish accent. It was at this point we figured we needed to head to the Gobi in search of a more authentic bar experience. Out in the desert, we got our yurt, got some donkeys and roamed the plains in search of a bar. Funnily enough, all jokes aside, we found one pretty quickly. Had a few beers and partied well into the night in the middle of the Gobi. 